Welcome to another NIMS and Associates snapshot for Acumatica. This snapshot is going to concern ourselves with dropship processing. Our agenda for this snapshot will be discussing what a dropship is, how to create a dropship in sales order, how to create a purchase order from the dropship, how to receive a dropship purchase order, and ultimately invoicing a dropship sales order. What is a dropship customer order? A dropship customer order is typically a sales order that is going to be shipped to the customer, but directly from the vendor. So it's going to go from the vendor to the customer without coming in through our warehouse. Creating a dropship sales order or a sales order dropship line. Drop shipments are started by creating a sales order. A sales order can have multiple lines on it. Each line on the sales order can be designated as being a dropship line or not. So if I open up the sales order processing system and I start a new sales order for a customer. And then add an inventory item to the sales order. Now, when I add the inventory item to the sales order, the system's gonna to check to see if I have any stock on hand. In this case, for this item, I don't have enough inventory to cover the stock. And so what I'm going to do is drop ship it. I want to sell 100 cases of this item to a customer. As you can see, Acumatica correctly points out that I don't have anything on hand. And therefore, I'm gonna drop ship this item from the vendor directly to the customer. Now, in order to make that happen, on each sales order line, you can mark it for purchase order. Marking it for purchase order opens up the purchase order source field where I can tell it the type of purchase order that I'm going to do. Now there's actually two types of purchase orders you can do. One is a drop ship, which is our focus for today. Otherwise you could do a purchase order directly for this order, but that type of purchase order will come into our warehouse. Once I've designated the line as a drop ship line, I merely need to take it off hold and save it. Generating a dropship purchase order. Once the sales order has been created and the sales order line has been properly tagged as a dropship line, it's a simple matter to create the dropship purchase order. From the actions drop down button, you can select create purchase order. What Acumatica will do, will bring up the Create Purchase Order screen, where all purchase orders could be created for lots and lots of drop ships, but in this case, we're just doing a one-off. On this screen, I can say which drop ship sales orders I wanna create a purchase order for. Now notice that this is the sales order that we just put in, but there's no vendor. So I can assign which vendor to create the purchase order for. A default vendor can be established for the inventory item where this would be filled in automatically. But to demonstrate the flexibility of Acumatica, I left that blank. Once a vendor has been selected for the drop shipment, I click on process and the system will spawn a drop shipment purchase order. Note that the type of order is a drop ship. Also note that I can see, and there's a link between the purchase order and the sales order to show the connection between the two. So if I click on view sales order demands, from the purchase order, I can open up the sales order. Receiving a dropship purchase order. Once the vendor has informed us that they've ship the product to the customer or the customer has informed us that they've received the product, it's a simple matter to perform a receipt of goods on the purchase order. The receipt of goods on a drop ship purchase order does two transactions. It creates the drop ship receipt, but it also creates a shipment against the sales order. So on a drop ship line on a sales order, there's no need to generate a shipment. I can create this by going to Actions, 
course, I need to take it off hold and tell the system that I don't want to print or email. Once that's been done, I can go to Actions and I can enter a purchase order receipt. Receiving the purchase order does not put the inventory into our warehouse. When we ship the customer sales order, it doesn't take it out of our warehouse either. These are special types of receipts and special types of shipments. When I release this receipt, you'll see that not only is it performing the receipt of goods against the purchase order, but it's also creating a shipment against the sales order. I can demonstrate that by going back to the sales order. And we can see that the quantity on order and there's a quantity on receipts. But if I looked at the sales order demand, which would allow me to pull up the sales order, I can also see that a shipment has been spawned or created automatically by the PO receipt. And there's the PO receipt that spawned the drop shipment shipment type against the sales order. Invoicing a drop ship sales order. Once the drop ship purchase order has been received, it's a simple matter to invoice the drop shipment. In Acumatica, you would go to process drop shipments. And in process drop shipments, there's a option for creating and preparing invoices from drop shipments. If I select that, the drop shipments that have been received appear, allowing me to prepare the invoice. Once the invoice has been prepared, normal invoicing processes will allow you to print or email invoices to customers and then ultimately release them. Thank you for watching our snapshot on dropship purchase order processing. To see more videos by NIMS and Associates, subscribe to our channel on YouTube. For more information about Acumatica and NIMS and Associates, you can go to our LinkedIn group. If you have questions about Acumatica and want to know more information, please contact Henry Kim at erp at nimsassociates.com. Thank you.